Okay, I'm back, guys. <laughs> All right, can you hear me right now? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, can you yes, hear me teacher. okay, or am I still being cut off? It's always uh, there is the interference. Yes. Maybe the microphone. You're still hearing me? You're still having problems hearing me? Yeah, we still hear the problem, teacher. How about now? Can you hear me now? Is it better? Um, yeah. A little better, teacher. A little better. Right. A little better. A little better. <laughs> Am I still being cut off? A little bit later. No. Some words uh, are clear, but some others are like kind of in some part. Okay, this is my last try. Is it better now? Yes. 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 Now it's better. Yes. Yes? You sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. So, or Veronica, you still have problems listening to me? Yes, a little bit, but I can hear you. You can still hear yes. me? Okay. All right. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to try to do my best here. Um, so, uh, Grace, you were, I, I saw that you put on the chat. Um, one of the examples there it says it's appropriate to talk about pol um, politics at work about politics at work or school yeah okay all right so let me explain here this actually has to do with uh, the the infinitive uh, phrases okay uh and maybe one of the reasons why you're having a little bit of problems with that is that uh, we didn't talk very much about that uh, yesterday we concentrated more about gerund, gerund phrases and not infinitive phrases so I am going to try to explain a little bit more the infinitive phrases. Can everybody see the whiteboard? Yes, teacher. Yes, we can see. Okay, so um, some like infinitive phrases work very similar to gerund phrases. If you understood gerund phrases, you'll be able to understand infinitive phrases. Like I said before, infinitive phrases are basically. So an infinitive phrase is a phrase that contains an in, a, or it, a two infinitive and oh, sorry infin and functions as a noun. An adjective or an adverb. Okay, so it's a phrase that contains a two infinitive. So it always it always has to begin with a two infinitive, and it functions as a noun, an adjective, or an adverb. Okay. Now um, I'm going to give you some examples here. I'm going to give you a sentence and you're going to tell me where is the, the infinitive phrase. Um, okay, look at the sentence here. And let me see, I'm going to ask here. Um, 
Cecilia. Cecilia, can you help me here to be able to identify in this sentence where is the infinitive phrase? Teacher, in infinitive verbs. In this. Okay, I, I, in this sentence here that we have, it's my goal to be in good shape. Which part of the sentence is the infinitive phrase? Remember, an infinitive phrase always begins with the to infinitive right here. To be, be. Okay, good. That's the to, infin to, the to infinitive. But remember, we need that infinitive phrase. So it can't just be to be. What else? To be what? Remember, mm -hmm. the infinitive phrase is composed of a two infinitive plus other, ver uh, other words. That's why it's a phrase. Mm -hmm. I don't know, teacher. Okay, no problem. It's a, a good. Uh-huh. Okay. It's good. Good what? In good? In good shape. Exactly. There you go. Very good, Cecilia. Excellent. There you go. So it's my goal to be in good shape. That part here, to be in good shape, okay. is the infinitive phrase. And in this case, uh, you're saying what your goal is. Okay, that's why it's a noun. In this case, it's a noun. You say what Sorry. you are describing what is your goal. Okay, so it's answering that question. What is your goal? My goal is to be in shape. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? Yes. Okay, good. All right, what I'm gonna ask you guys to do right now is I want you to make a sentence similar to this one, okay? It's my goal to be in, in good shape. What I want you to do right now is in this moment, I want you to create a sentence in your, no, in your notebook. What is your goal? So you're gonna start with, it's my goal to what? You're going to put any anything at all. For example, it's my goal to be in, shape, in good shape. It's my goal to um, it, to get a promotion at my, at my job. Hello, English. Guys, can, you, can everybody hear me or not? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, we don't hear you. Good, good. Okay. So, um, like I said, and you, you can put anything you want. What is your goal? Okay. So, it can be, it's my goal to buy a new car. It's my goal to um, start my business, et cetera, et cetera. What is your goal? Okay. You got it? Yes. Excellent. Okay, anybody need more time? No? No. Okay, all right, good. All right, so Grace uh, already put in the chat, she put, she says, it's my goal to make 
grow my makeup store. Okay. All right. Excellent. Very, very good. Um, you can also say it's my goal to, uh, to, make my instead of saying grow it could say um to expand, expand. Or, um, yeah that's the word to expand yeah i had that doubt if i can just grow to for a um like an object like for for applying that uh, verb to a store mm -hmm. and maybe also could be uh, increase or expand um, increase probably not so much increase, uh, but but expand would definitely be a very good verb. Yes, very yeah, that would be probably the best way to um, to say that sentence. Yeah, but very good, it great, excellent. Okay, now I want to hear um, Carmen. What is your goal? Hey. It's my goal to be speak English fluently. Okay. Good. It's my goal it's, to. It's, it's a, did you say to be? To be. Or to speak? Which one? To be, yeah. Oh, no, to speak. Sorry, sorry. To speak yeah. English very well. Exactly. To Excellent. speak. Okay. Very good, Grace. So I see that you just um, corrected that. It's my goal to expand my makeup store. Yeah, that's, that's, that would be the best way to do it. Very good. And in your case, Carmen, um, remember that you're only going to use one in, to infinitive. So it's going to be either to be or uh, to what did you do? to speak, you said, right? No. Okay. In this yeah, case, to speak. it would be better to speak, right? To speak. Um, okay. Excellent. Okay. All right. Let's go for okay, thank you. Uh, Daniel. It's my goal to learn English in English Corporativo. Excellent. Okay. I like that one. <laughs> okay. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Very, very good. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go now for, um, let's see, Leila. Okay. What is your goal, Leila? Uh, it's my goal to be uh, to be promoted in my promoting in my job. Excellent. It's my goal to be promoted in my in at my work, at my work, or in my job. Mm -hmm. Good. At work or in my job. All right. Good. Uh, let's hear Cecilia. It's my goal to make the report very fast. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Very good, Cecilia. Okay. Roxy. Okay, uh, it's my goal to read a book in three days. Oh, wow, in three days. Wow, very ambitious, Roxy. Excellent. I like it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, like, I like to read, but I, I have reading, oh, I have read books in, in, in few days. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. That's a very good habit. Excellent. Okay, so I think I've okay. asked everybody, right? Okay, yes. Yeah? All right. Um, now, yes. the most common way to use um, nouns, uh, infinitive phrases as nouns is to have it like this. Like, it's my goal, blah, blah, blah. It, but, so normally we use it as an object, right? So a noun is an object. However, sometimes it's possible to use it as a subject or at the beginning of the, of, of of a um, of a sentence. To give you an example, I can say instead of saying um, it's my goal to be in good shape, I, I can say. Oops, let me change that color. To be in good shape is my goal, and it means exactly the same idea. Okay. To be in, sh in good shape, sorry, in good shape is my goal, yeah. So here, um, Sissy, could you tell me what is the infinitive phrase? 
infinity phrase yeah. is a to be in good shape. Yeah, exactly. It's the same. It continues being the same. So this is the infinitive phrase. The only difference between this one and this one is that this one is using uh, the infinitive phrase as an object, whereas this one is a subject. That's pretty much the difference. But it's the same idea. Okay? It's still saying um, you're describing what your goal is. Or what, sorry, it should say this is, this is grammatically incorrect. Let me just change that. There you go. So you are describing what your goal is. Okay, and both of them is the same. Like I said, the only difference is here in this one, um, the the infinitive is an object. And in this one, the infinitive is, Veronica? What is, in this one, the infinitive is a? Uh, where say to be in to be in good shape. Uh huh. I can I read on you. That's true. Okay, yes. so to be in good shape is the infinitive phrase, and it's acting as an object or as a subject. Please repeat, teacher. To be in good shape is that like a subject or an object? Mm. It's at the beginning of the sentence. An object. I'm not choose object. Okay, this one is an object because that's after mm, a subject. Subject. It's a subject. Oh, this one's an object, and this one is subject. A, so it's a subject. Exactly. Very good. It's a subject, but it's the same idea. Okay. It's a, the exact same idea. It's just that we've changed things around, and that means that. This one is going to be acting as a subject because it's at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, does that make sense for you guys? Daniel, does that make sense for you? Yes, yes, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. All right, and uh, how about uh, Leila? Does that make sense for you, Leila? Yes? Okay, wonderful, all right. Now, something you have to understand though, is that this is not very common. It is possible to see it in English, but it's not very common. It's more common to do this instead of, uh, for example, it's more common, instead of saying, um, instead of starting a sentence with two, we normally use it's and an adjective to give an example. I can start, I can say, it's a good idea to be in good shape. There you go. That is more, that is actually much more um, used in English to start the sentence with it's, um, for example, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. My mistake, my mistake. Let me change that. It's an adjective. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's what I wanted to put. Okay. So we could say, for example, it's necessary to be in good shape. Okay. So like, for example, if you are, um, I don't know, a military person, it's important, it's, it's necessary to be in shape, right? Because you're gonna, you know, have to be doing a lot of physical things, right? Or um, if you are a personal trainer, it's necessary to be in good shape, okay? So it's more common to see this kind of sentence where you have an adjective before the, the, two, uh, the two 
in, um, sorry, the infinitive phrase. Okay, it's more common to see that. Okay, so we still have here to be in good shape, but it's usually going to be followed by a it as saying it is, and then right here we're going to add an adjective. Okay. All right. So I want you guys now to make sentences with starting with it's necessary and then a two, a two infinitive phrase. Okay. So it's necessary to, uh, for example, it's necessary to um, work in order to pay my bills um, or it's necessary uh, to, um, to sleep enough hours. It's necessary to drink at least eight glasses of liquid a day, et cetera, et cetera. Right? Whatever you think is necessary. Okay, anybody need more time? No? Okay, all right, let me hear what you guys have to say. Um, let me start with uh, Roxy. Roxy, tell me what is necessary. Okay, it's necessary to, um, to work every day in order to get in more money. Or to get one. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Okay. All right, Veronica. It's necessary to it's necessary to practice English every day. Very good. Excellent. Daniel. It's necessary to drink enough water every day. Excellent. Okay. Good. Um, Cecilia. You are necessary. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, it's necessary to eat meat for healthy. Okay. It's necessary to eat meat. To be healthy. Meat. To be healthy. To be to be healthy. To be yes, healthy. To be yes. healthy. Very good. Thank you, Cecilia. Okay, let's see who else. Uh, Grace. If, if I say it's necessary to eat healthy. Carmen, what what was that, Carmen? Uh, it's necessary. Yeah. Sorry, Carmen, I couldn't hear you very well. Could you repeat that again? It's necessary to eat healthy. Okay, very good. Excellent, Carmen. It's necessary to eat healthy. That's right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Very good. Grace? Necessary uh, to read before taking the exam. Okay, very good. Excellent. Or should, should I use to be? Because I, I didn't use to be, but uh, to read. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's fine. Excellent. Very good. Okay, I think that was everybody, right? Yeah? Okay, good. Now, uh, now comes the fun part. It, what all of these, if you notice, are affirmative. What happens when it's negative? Where do I put, because what word do we use in English to make something negative? What 
What word do we use to it be? It's, it is not necessary. Okay, good. So to not, be in good shape. Good. So we use the word not. How do we use the word not in English when we are talking about infinitive phrases? Well, uh, it actually, something that's very important is that you remember that in English, the not always goes before the infinitive phrase, okay? For example, I can say, it's not, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's um, important not to, um, It's important not to uh, work or not to eat um, more than or, what is it? Eat more calories that than your body needs. Okay. All right, there you go. So it's important not to eat more calories than your body needs. If you notice here, I'm going to just make sure that everybody understands. Uh, we have it's important, right? Here we have the adjective, right? Important. And then what part is the, what part is the, um, the infinitive phrase? It's important not to eat. Okay, so the infinite phrase would be right here. To eat. Not to eat. Not to eat. Not to eat. What else? More calories. More calories. More More calories. calories. Then your body needs, right? All of this is the infinitive phrase, all of it. But if you notice, we have the not before. at the beginning, okay? So it's incorrect in English to say it's important to not, that's not correct. Don't put the not in the middle. Not Don't put it between the two and the, and the verb. Put it at the beginning, not to eat, okay? Does that make sense? If this attitude. Okay, good. Now, um, so this, this explanation will now be very useful when we answer questions like, for example, Grace put, it's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write that, that's the example down. It's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school. Oops. Or school. Okay. So that that's actually one of the ex the sentences that we have in our exercises in the platform. And what in the in the in the platform it said that you have to write it in the correct form. Now my question is: Is it appropriate to talk about politics at work or school? Like ethically speaking, is that appropriate? Like at your job, would it be okay? Would your boss be okay with you talking about politics? I don't think so. No, 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 it's appropriate. Not really, right? No, uh, that definitely, that's one of those complex topics. <laughs> don't talk about that because it's not appropriate, right? So in this case, what we're, what we're have to do with this exercise is we're gonna put it in the correct form. In other words, we're gonna make it we're gonna change it to make sense. So in this case, we have to add the word not. Now, where are we going to put the word not? That's my question. Where are you going to insert the word not? What 
what part of this of this sentence would you put the word not? It's appropriate not to talk. Mm -hmm. Inappropriate. Okay, well, there's actually two ways that you could do this. You can put the word not, like I taught you right now, is putting it before the infinitive. Let me change that. Oops. So we can put the word not in here. Let's say not. Okay, so we can say it's appropriate not to talk about politics at work or school. There. But it doesn't sound very, like, it's not, doesn't sound that natural. What would be a more natural way to say the negative part in English? It's inappropriate. Good, exactly. So instead of putting the not, making the negative not here, um, by putting the word not, I would probably change the word appropriate to make it negative. So in that case, it would say it's inappropriate to talk okay. about politics. So that's probably the way that would be best. Okay. All right. So thinking about it's appropriate, it's inappropriate. I want you right now to think about two things that are appropriate at your job and two things that are inappropriate at your job. Two things that are appropriate in your job and two things that are not appropriate or are inappropriate. Teacher. Yeah. Next sentence. Teacher. Yeah, Daniel, can you hear me? No. Yeah, yes. Uh, I'm trying to write that sentences in the platform, but this is not good, it's wrong. Which I don't one? know if I, I got it, but uh, it's appropriate not to talk about political work or school. I guess this is a option. Okay, yeah. And the second one is could, it, could it be an inappropriate, but I tried both, but they are wrong. Okay, okay. Um, like I said, uh, the most common one, the, the most, the one that would sound like more uh, fluent, let's say in English, would be the second one, to put it's inappropriate. Now, something you got to take into consideration, every, and this is for everybody. The platform is very sensitive to um, the way that you write. So, for example, if you have omitted a letter, okay, if for, for any reason the, the spelling is incorrect, it will make it, it will say automatically that it's incorrect. The other thing is yeah. that if there is a, if you're missing a period, it will also put it as incorrect. So check, that, and this, like I said, is for everybody. When you're writing in the platform, be very, very, very careful that you spell correctly and that you are, you're not missing commas, periods, uh, question marks, exclamation points, or apostrophes, okay? Because if you're missing one of those things, the platform will, um, will say that it's wrong. Okay, so does that help a little bit, Betty? Yes, I, I yes, got teacher. it. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, good. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, be very, very careful on that. And the reason why the platform does that is because in English is so important. Like, I can't stress this point so more than, you know, than right now. I, it's so, so important to write correctly. I know I have noticed that in Spanish, uh, many people, like, they, it doesn't really matter 
if you put a period or you put a comma, it's just like free for all. But in English, it's very important. Um, it can be the difference between um, sounding, uh, sounding educated, sounding um, polite, and it can even change the meaning. So it's very, very important that we learn how to always write correctly, both spelling and with the correct punctuation. So um, if the platform is not taking an answer, it's probably because of that. So pay attention to that so that you guys can also get a good grade on the platform, okay? All right, guys, um, what I'm gonna ask for you, I'm going to assign you guys uh, to, oh, sorry, before, before I assign you the homework, um, let's listen to the, your answers. I asked you to do two, two sentences for things that are appropriate and things that are not, two sentences of things that are not appropriate or inappropriate at work. Okay, so let's start with Leila. Leila, can you give me the sentences that you wrote? Sorry, yes. Uh, it is inap inappropriate to talk about religion at work. Um, to talk about, sorry? To stay at, to talk about religion at work. Okay. Good, yeah, very good. Uh, and the other one is, it is necessary to stay at home in order to prevent uh, from uh, COVID. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank you, Leila. Okay, um, okay, good. And Grace, I see that you put in the chat here, it's inappropriate to use mini skirts at, at the office. Yeah, very good, excellent, Grace. Now tell me something that is appropriate. If you want, you can just open up the microphone. Yeah, uh, it's appropriate uh, to dress casual at our office. Okay, sounds good. Very good, excellent. Okay, thank you, Grace. Uh, Roxy, tell me about your work. What's appropriate? Okay, okay. it's inappropriate to uh, speak when you are eating. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. And uh, in, it, uh, it's appropriate uh, to wear in a formal way when you go to work. It's, a, it's inappropriate to what did you say? It's, a, it's appropriate. Uh -huh. It's appropriate to wear in a formal way when you go to work. Okay, to wear or to dress? Well, where? Roxy, which one? Which word is the correct? Which word? Is wear or, or dress? I don't uh, know. Uh, for me, wear because wear includes everything. Shoes, clothes, um, if you use glasses or bags, yeah, yeah. I, but, but I don't know. Yeah, I understand. You, you tell the me thing about, the thing uh -huh. about, about the verb uh, wear is that you need to say what, wear what. So you have to say, ah, okay, okay. It's, it's, it's very to say dress. Wear running shoes. It's appropriate to wear, um, I don't know, uh, more specific. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You have to be, you have to say the what. Okay. Okay. But and so that okay. would, that, that's the reason okay, why you. the dress okay. would be to dress. Okay. Mm -hmm. So can you say that again, Roxy? Okay. okay. Got it, got it. Yes, I got it. Got it. Okay. So no, it's appropriate it. to dress to dress a formal way. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Dino says it's inappropriate mm -hmm. to criticize people, I would just say. Just eliminate the word to at right there. So it's inappropriate to criticize people. Okay. People yeah. without two. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah, not two people. Not you it's criticize somebody not to somebody okay very good you got it yeah okay okay uh and another it's, one another one daniel that something it's, appropriate it's appropriate uh, to close your eyes when you are praying 
when you are praying. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Carmen, tell me yours. It's 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 inappropriate to say by word in public. Okay. It's inappropriate okay. to say by words in public. Okay, good. And what is appropriate? Tell me something that is appropriate. Uh, in, uh, it's appropriate to, to speak very well. Okay, sounds good, excellent. Speak very well. To speak very well, very good. Okay, and the last one, Cecilia. Uh, okay, uh, it's uh, inappropriate uh, to eat with the open mouth. With an open mouth. Mouth. Can you repeat mouth. that? Mm -hmm. Mouth. Uh, it's inappropriate to eat with the open mouth. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay. And what is appropriate? That was an inappropriate. Appropriate? Okay. Appropriate, uh, it's appropriate to uh, speak slowly when you, when you uh, stay in the church. To speak slowly when you, at church. When, you when you are at church. Yes, to, uh, it's appropriate to uh, speak slowly when you, when you uh, stay in, in the church. Okay, good. Cecilia, just be careful. It's not to stay at a, a church, but to be at church. Okay? Because stay, stay means quedarse. Okay? You, know, you wouldn't say cuando uno se queda en la, en la iglesia, sino que sería cuando uno está en la iglesia. So that would be better when you are, are at church. Okay? Yeah? Okay. 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 Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. And just one, just one, um, one observation, Daniel. Uh, you said here when when you are praying, not when you are praying, because yours is the the, uh, the possessive adjective, right? So it should say when you are praying, or if you want to make a contraction, when you're praying. But uh, the you your would be y o u apostrophe r e. Okay. So just be careful with that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But everything else is fine. Okay, thank you. Everything else is, is very, very good. Okay, guys. A any questions that you have? Are the infinitive the clear for Everything you? is clear. Does it make sense for you now? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right, good. Okay, guys. Um, well, we uh, we went a little bit over the time, but I think that it was necessary to do it. One, because we were having a little bit of the technical difficulties at the beginning there. And second, because I think that it's important for you guys to have the practice, right? And to really understand how everything works. Okay, so now, um, now I hope everybody is able to be in the group. Um, and since I, I am hoping everybody is in the group now, I will be sending you the prompts, just like we did today, I want you to also um, complete the sentences. Um, it's, it's appropriate, it's inappropriate, it's essential, et cetera, et cetera. Also remember that the rule that I told you about the not uh, before the infinitive phrase, it's the same rule that applies with gerund, sorry, gerund phrases. So for example, uh, the gerund phrases, of, I don't know, like, uh, swimming in the pool that we did yesterday. Instead of saying swimming in the pool, we can say not swimming in the pool. Okay, so the not goes before the gerund. Okay, all right. I have Veronica that says here it's appropriate to save money for the future. Definitely. Yeah, it's and it's not just appropriate, it's important, right? Especially right now, you know, we don't know what's going to happen because, you know, Everybody, I think the world's going to go into an economic crisis. So definitely save your money, guys, right, as much as possible. Okay, guys, so um, any questions that you have before we leave? No, see you Monday, teacher. See you Friday. Oh, tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs>
Ah, okay, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, no, see you tomorrow, okay? Just just for this week, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. okay. Yes. All right. Take care. Have a good evening. See you. Bye. Good evening. Thank you. Bye.